guys and welcome back to the all-in-one LP. I know a lot of you guys are excited to see more and I'm excited to see more. So here we go. We're going to get into it. Um, okay, so in the last episode, um, we put the bed in the living room and Tori uh, decided to sleep in the living room because her and Harmony are not getting along too great. Um, Harvey is fast asleep and Jared is out here in the thy living room. Um, he is watching some TV. He doesn't really have anything to do today, so I'm I'm not. I don't really know. He could work on cooking, but um, I think we have leftovers for everything. We have cookies and apple pancakes. I mean, he could serve some like lunch or something, but I'm not going to make him get up or get him to do that. I'm I'm just not. Um, so. Harmony actually has today off, and I was actually going to ask if, or I was going to invite out uh, Marty, wherever he shall be, um, but he's a rookie, and I can't remember what time rookies work, but I'm going to ask him out, on, I'm going to ask him out, I, I want him, to, I want him to go out with us, um, I feel like the only way Harmony's going to know whether or not she is really, really, really into him is to go out again with him and see if there is a spark. If there is a spark again, then I feel like she might be like, you know, all right, maybe there is something more to this. Maybe it's not just me. So we're actually going to go out with him and I wanted to go to the park, but it's raining. So I think we'll just go like um, someplace else. Um, what kind of like indoorsy places do we have? We could go over here and sing some karaoke and play some pool at the Mixmaster Karaoke. I don't know what time it opens though. That's the only thing. I think it, I think it's already open. So I'm going to ask him to go out over there with me and see if he will. Hopefully he will. I'm really, really hoping that he does because I really feel like this is the only way for her to find out whether or not there's an actual thing with him or if it's just like, you know, because... There was that first initial attraction that she still feels like there could be more. I don't know. But Tori's at work and obviously things aren't great with Tori. And probably Tori finding out that she's going out with this guy again after what happened last time would send her over the edge. But again, this is Harmony just trying to figure things out. Now, she does have a wish to go on a date with Marty. And I really feel like there's something more to this. And and I really wanna I really wanna do this. How much is this worth? 400. I hate to kill, click out of some of these things, but learning a new recipe is not as important as trying to figure out this thing between Tori and Marty. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I will still let her learn a new recipe. I just won't get the points for it, which is fine. It doesn't matter. Um, I just want to kind of figure this out. We're going to keep our job, actually, because everyone's got the job that they're supposed to have for the, uh, for the, for the all-in-one part. Um, okay, so, yeah, so we're going to go out and we're going to go with Marty and, and hopefully we can either figure out if there's a thing with him and like we want to be with him or we can figure out if we would, if it's just like a fling and, and, and we're not really in love with him. It's just an infatuation of the thought of being with, you know, someone that is as good looking as he is. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe it's just like a, an attraction. It's not really like romance kind of relationship thing. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying because I'm saying thing a lot and I, I and I know this and I, I don't really know how to explain it any other way. Squeaky. But um, this isn't open until 11, I guess. So we have a little bit of time to just kind of stand and talk and try and figure things out. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to be friendly with him and we are going to um, chat with him about what's been happening with Tori and how she's feeling and like, you know, how we've been fighting all the time because of the last date that these two went on. And how it's kind of messed with her relationship. And um, he, she's going to dispel the rumors that, you know, whatever. And um, it doesn't really matter because, you know, he's the one who she did it with. Um, we're going to ask about his day. See how everything's going with him at home. And we are going to then go ahead and just get to know how it's been going with him and his family. And uh, we're going to give him a hug. You know, because nonetheless, he is our best friend. And, and we need to be able to confront our best friend about things that are going on in our real life. So Harmony is just going to try and talk with Marty about, like, you know, the situation. He's like, oh, boy, like, that doesn't sound good. But I think he kind of is excited because I feel like he honestly wants Harmony for himself. Um, you're all right in my book. Yeah, we know we are. <laughs> Um, so we're just going to get to know him and try and figure out what's going on at home, see how things are going for him. Um, 
we're going to go ahead and admire the person that he is because Harmony is still feeling like there is a little bit more than just, um, just like, you know, the, the connection that they have. She's going to express how much she cares about him. And then, um, we're going to see how he reacts to that. Uh, and then we're going to ask about his gender preference, which I think we already know. I think we've already asked him, but we'll go ahead and ask again. Uh, Jared is doing what? Cleaning the counter? Sure. He can do whatever he wants. Tori is at work. She has no idea what's going on here with Harmony. But Marty is kind of like, you know, she. I think Harmony can kind of tell that Marty is still feeling it. He's still feeling her. And um, so Harmony is feeling him as well. Um, she's going to tell him that she really likes him, and he agrees that he really likes her as well. So she's going to actually ask him if he would break up with Justine for her. And uh, this is going to be the true question. Like, he's straight, which I figured. Um, would he really break up with Justine for her? And he agrees that, you know, Harmony is such a catch that... He is going to break up with Justine, but he wants her to break up with Tori tonight so that they can be together is pretty much what he just said. And she is like, oh my God, like this is totally, this is totally working out. It's totally what I was hoping was going to happen. I was really hoping you were going to say that because I've been feeling this connection with you from the very first time I laid eyes on you. I literally cannot get a freaking enough of you. And he agrees that, like, you know, that, that, uh, that he can't get enough of her either. But he's saying, you know, break up a Tory and we will definitely go on another date soon. But I have to, I have to leave, uh, because I have to go to work. And she's like, you know what? I understand work is a thing and, and, and I, and I understand where you're coming from. But we are going to go inside and we're going to sing. We we are just feeling it. Like we are feeling the freaking power of the freaking gods. And we are so excited because, you know, we've got this romantic interest with Marty. He is single, ready to freaking mingle with us. We are single. We're going to be hopefully, possibly single tonight, ready to mingle. I don't know. I don't know if Harmony can go through with it. Is she, is she going to be able to pull it off? Is she going to be able to make Marty happy? And break up with Tori tonight, or what is gonna happen? I don't really know. I don't really know. Um, right, Har Harvey, you work in 10 hours. Okay, what are you up to? You're watching more TV? That is fine. He doesn't really need to do anything but cook for work, so I'm not really gonna do anything else about that. Um, but Tori is still at work. She's still feeling betrayed. If only she knew what was going on behind her back today while she's been at work. That she went out with this guy and she literally told him that she has feelings for him. He told her he has feelings for her to the point where he broke up with his girl for her, you know? And and that's pretty serious. That's a pretty serious thing. To break up with somebody for somebody else, pretty freaking serious. Tori has earned 250 millions. She's apparently... Oh my god. Tori heard through the grapevine that she went out with freaking... um. With Marty, someone at work told her that, you know, they'd been seen together and Tori just found out. She said, apparently she's not interested in fixing the relationship. So she decided to break off. They are no longer romantic, no longer romantic. And she has been found cheating. Oh my God. Oh my God. Does she even want to marry us anymore? Like, so not only did we like figure out that Marty wants to be with us, but freaking Tori just broke it off with us. She's she's our fiance, but not like I don't understand how she's even my fiance anymore. Be rejected? Like what the hell? Break up? Oh my gosh, Tori is coming over here to break up with us right now. How is Harmony gonna deal with this? Cause I honestly now feel like Harmony is gonna re is gonna second guess this choice. She is like living with this girl. Like she like Tori is in the house. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is Tori going to do? She can't move out on her own. She doesn't have enough money for that. We aren't going to support her. You know what I mean? So Tori is pretty much living with her ex-girlfriend now. And and this is going to be really awkward. Because, obviously, Marty broke up with his girl for us. So we could totally move M Marty in and just be like, you know what? Screw it. 
we're gonna we're gonna be with him whether whether Tori likes it or not. And that's gonna be really awkward because Tori obviously freaking likes us. Or we're fiancés. Tori's upset about the whole situation of us flirting with this other man. Like, girl is coming over here to, like, literally bust it out. She is like, I'm done with your trash. Like, while I'm at work, you're behind, going behind my back. What's wrong with you? Oh, my goodness. She's giving in to her. Woo! Oh, my God. Harmony is like, I'm going to totally be mean to you. At the same time as wanting to ominously hug her. She is so freaking out of it. She doesn't even know what she wants anymore. She is like, how are you going to come up in here and freaking stupidly accuse me of something that you don't even know about? I literally went on this. I literally went out with him today to try and figure out if I was going to keep going with you. And it ended up being that, you know what? You just came over here and broke up with me for nothing. I, she's going to lie to her and be like, I didn't even feel anything with him. And I was totally going to come home and apologize to you and make it up to you. But instead you come over here and break it off of me. Even knowing we know that Harmony is totally not telling the freaking truth. She is lying through her teeth, you know, trying to, trying to butter her up. But you know what? We're going to applaud her for her hard work. Be like, you know, you're a hard worker. I don't know why you would listen to your friends at work when they obviously are trying to come between us and you let it happen. Give her an inspirational speech. You know what? Just, like, give it to her. Tell her how it is. <laughs> and, um, yeah. We're going to ask about her day at work. We're going to be like, you know what? Even if even if you don't want to be with me and you're going to listen to your friends at work over me that, and not even give me a chance to explain myself, then, you know what? You go ahead and do that. But I really hope that your day is freaking great because you just ruined mine. And I think at that point, we're just going to walk away. We're going to go home. We're going to leave Tori behind. We're going to let her figure out her McShiggles alone. We are not going to try and deal with this. And you know what? We're actually not even going to go home. We are going to go super slander because we're sick and tired of people talking trash about us behind our backs. And we are going to go and we're going to take care of it. We're going to go super slander and we're going to let these people know who we really are and who they are not to mess with. Because we are Harmony and and we are Harmony Goodman. And we do not, not ever let people talk behind our back. Like that is just not who we are. So we're going to go super slander and, uh, and, and make sure that people know that we're not to mess with anymore. That we're not going to lay down for nobody. And Harmony is kind of getting into the point where she can't, she feels like she can't be nice to people if people can't be nice to her. And obviously people are relaying messages about her being romantic with him. I mean, yeah, they flirted, whatever. It's not like they made out or anything. You know what I mean? Like they didn't really touch. They did hug each other, but that's completely different than like freaking like macking it on the streets. And Harmony is getting kind of fed up. She's kind of understanding why her brother is, like, so upset with the world. And why he wants to pretty much bring the world to the ground. Because of the crap that people do. And the, pe the crap that people make people go through for no apparent reason. So, she's kind of starting to understand her twin a little bit more than she has ever, like, understood him before. Which is kind of funny. Because... Obviously, you know, Harmony is the good one, you know, she's she's a good twin and and for her to feel the way that her brother pretty much feels on a daily basis, she's kind of understanding why he gets the way he gets and why he gets so angry at the world all the time. And 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 she understands that it's it has a lot to do with the way people treat people. And and she's not going to she's not going to put up with it anymore. She's literally just at the point where she is just going to pretty much tell people to go screw themselves because she's sick and tired of hearing it but i am gonna let him go ahead and shower i'm gonna have jared go ahead oh jared's actually going to work so he's gonna practice cooking i'm just gonna let harvey eat um some or have some nope can't even have anything we don't have a counter oh We'll just get rid of this. Put it in the trash. He literally burnt the mac and cheese. So we're just going to have some autumn salad. Um, and you know what? Actually, we'll just go out and eat. How about that? We'll just take you out to eat. We'll just go eat at the little um, bistro over here. He is not feeling like cooking right now. He just tried to cook. It all went wrong. He's going to go and, you know, eat at his lover's work. He wants to kind of spend some more time with him. And he feels bad that he got up so late today. So he's going to actually head over to his work. Try and get, you know, a close eye at him in his uniform. Because 
let's be honest. Um, and uh, he's just gonna try and 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 spend a little bit of time, even though he can't really spend time time with her or with him. He can at least try. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of the thing. Harmony is really heartbroken that Tori broke up with her the way that she did, the way that she would listen to the people at work instead of listening to her and and listening to the whole situation. But at the same time, she's kind of excited because that means that she doesn't have these obligations to marry someone who she's not 100% about. And, and she really likes Marty and she feels she has the feels for Marty. So I feel like maybe we'll try and take him out on a date. But tomorrow we do have work. So we do have to be conscious of that and, and keep that in mind um when she's done maybe he'll be done with work so that maybe she can invite him out to dinner or something um she doesn't want to move right on with marty but at the same time she kind of does she knows that she's getting older she knows that if she's gonna have kids her time is very very freaking limited either she's going to adopt or she's going to um to have her own baby and the only way to kind of figure that out is to feel out marty because obviously, you know, Marty is is her her new fling, kind of, and uh, they could totally have a thing if if it ended up being that. But at the same time, like she doesn't really know if she wants to jump right into another relationship, because she might still want to work it out with Tori in the end. You know, she really likes Tori. She feels she has that emotional connection with her and that romance. Like she obviously finds her attractive and such, and she doesn't want to just throw her under the bus and be like, "Okay, I'm done with you." So at the same point, she is kind of torn between the two still. She she really likes Marty, but at the same time, she really likes Tori. Even though Tori is really, really mad at her. Um, but she feels like, you know what, she gave Tori a chance. Tori pretty much destroyed their relationship. So she feels like maybe she should give Marty a chance. And, and the only way to, to find out if, if he deserves a chance is to take him out and, and to feel, feel out the situation. So that's exactly what she is going to do. Um, now, I don't know what time Marty gets out of work, but we could try and invite him out again because we just won our settlement. So we are not, we are not, um, going to deal with people talking trash behind our back anymore. Marty, on the other hand, I don't know what he's doing, but I don't know. Um, we're going to ask him out. We're going to invite him out to the bistro. I kind of want them to just go on a dinner date and, and see how that goes. See if they've got that connection still now that she's not with somebody and there isn't that. Um, he actually isn't going to be out for a couple of hours. So we're actually going to just go eat by ourselves at the bistro. Um, we're just going to go and have dinner by ourselves. We're, we're really upset about the whole Tory situation. We don't even want to go home because we don't, we literally don't want to deal with that, with the BS from all of that, uh, the drama of the situation of, of Tori and whatever's going on with her and why she's, she's just going to listen to her freaking friends over us. But at the same time, like we're hungry. So we're just going to go eat at the beast show. We're going to try and stay out and, and until Marty gets out of work and then we'll maybe go out with him and see how that goes. And if things hit it, if we hit it off with Marty, then maybe we'll, you know, woohoo because you know let's be honest harmony's not in the right mindset and she just kind of wants that love and affection she just wants someone to love her at this point because she's kind of feeling like she felt like when her mom left her you know and and she got taken into the foster home and and she's really upset about it so she just wants someone to show her love because she is really, really feeling really hurt. And she doesn't want Harvey to see her in a really upset mood. So she's trying to cover it up by like, you know, putting a smile on and stuff. But at the same time, she's really freaking upset. And, and, and she doesn't want to ruin Harvey's day. She knows probably he's having a great day with his boyfriend. And to see them so lovey-dovey probably would kill Harmony. Because, you know, she had that kind of with Tori. She had like the romantic part of it. But... At the same time, you know, just to see them, her brother happy and whatever, it makes her happy. But at the same time, it makes her sad because she hasn't been able to find someone who, who loves her the way that, that Jared loves Harvey. And, and so it kind of breaks her heart. But I mean, she doesn't know, but Harvey's not even home. He's out at the pool. He's going swimming. He's, he's having his, he's literally living up his life. He loves that he gets to go to work so late because he gets to spend the day out. You know what I mean? He gets to do things. Um, 
he gets to he gets to do things before he goes to work which makes him happy and and he loves that so that's something that that he gets to do that you know a lot of other people don't really get to do because they have to go to work so freaking early in the day but he's actually gonna head off to work now we're gonna actually um sure we're actually gonna head to work um and we're going to conspire with our accomplices go to work and and conspire with your accomplices all right, so he's actually going to head off to work. He's going a little early today. He wants to get in and he wants to, you know, have some time to spend with his coworkers and all of that good stuff. Harmony is still over here, heart freaking broken. She is trying to just, like, forget about it by talking to everybody she can find. But it's not really, it's not really going that well. Um, Tori got a call from Thornton Wolf, which is her boss, and he is kind of, you know, letting Tori know that um, he heard about the breakup, and he's really, really, really sorry to hear about it, and maybe, you know, they could go out and, and have some, have, have a good time together, or, you know, try to forget about it, and, and she's actually gonna accept his invite out, because, you know, um, there's no reason that she shouldn't, you know, she doesn't have anyone to go home to right now. She doesn't even freaking want to go home. She doesn't want to see Harmony, even though, again, Harmony's not home because Harmony's trying to pretty much avoid Tori at the same time. Eventually, they are freaking going to have to go out, you know, go home and, and just figure it out. Um, so, I don't know. She's just trying to figure it out. And it looks like it's time for Marty to be home. So we're actually going to go ahead and try and invite him out. We're going to invite him out to the bar. See if we can um, it, see if we can figure it out. Um, Jared needs to go to Egypt and learn the falafel recipe. Sure, he actually needs to do cooking. So that is actually a good thing for him. All right, so we're actually going to go up here to the bar. Wherever it is, here it is. I'm going to go here. Okay. Um... Harmony is asking Marty out, and and they're actually going to end up going to the same bar, not knowing that each other are going to that bar. We're actually going to go out, and um, they're gonna they're gonna end up at the same bar, hopefully. All right, all right, sounds good. Everyone is headed to the bar. Um, they don't obviously know that each other is headed to the bar, so they're just thinking like it's gonna be friggin' easy to just you know to just go to this bar they're gonna be able to relax with their with the other person that they're going with and everything is gonna be great jared got a promotion to pastry chef as well as a bonus of one thousand six or eight simoleons after countless recipes filled with succulent savory taste it's time to work with the sweeter side of the kitchen delicate flaky desserts and scrumptiously sugared breakfast tarts are the order of the day for pastry chefs keep rolling the dough to start rolling in the dough he now makes 108 simoleons and works from 3 p.m to 8 30 p.m all right, and as a reward, we've been allowed to keep a excavator, which is a um, food chopper. So that's awesome. We're actually going to go ahead and have him accept gifts, though, because um, the girls are out and they probably won't be back before. Um, Tori is pretty hungry, so when she gets there, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let her grab some food and stuff with um, with Thornton. They're gonna they're gonna eat some dinner together. Obviously, it's not like a dinner date. It's just like him trying to brighten her up or make her feel better because he heard through the grapevine of what happened at work and he's feeling pretty bad about it. So that's pretty much why he's singing her out. But we're gonna go ahead and set the gifts. This is from Ilaith. It's a message from the game. Take it here. We just got the swinging light. Thank you so much. Let me go ahead and uh, send you back a wonderful gift. Hopefully, it's something wonderful. Uh, thanks for the lights. Okay, can't spell. <laughs> for Tori. It's with an I, isn't it? Um, in my all in one LP. Alright, let's go ahead and copy that. Perfect. Okay, moving up. Um, the next one is from... Pizzazza Girl 1015, it says, These five gifts I promised you during your Sims 4 livestream on 215. All right, we're going to take that here. We just got the Baronian table lamp. Thank you so much. And you know what's so perfect is this message is legit perfect. So we can just go ahead and send that out to you. So thank you so much for that. 
Uh, moving on up, the next one is from Fierce. Is this thanks for the exercise machine? You're so very welcome. Love watching your LPs. Aw, thank you so much for saying that. And thank you for the floor lamp. We've got a ceiling floor and table lamp now. So thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Really appreciate it. It is going to be perfect for when we actually move because we are going to be moving here in the next couple of LPs to a new home because this one is just getting way too small and it's going to be very crowded. Tori needs a bedroom now. We are going to need a three bedroom instead of a two bedroom. Is getting crazy. Next one is from HUDJ69. It says, I love you so much. Aw, thank you so much for saying that. I really appreciate that. You guys are so sweet. I love it so much. Thank you so much for the sunflower vase. I really appreciate it. It's going to make our home hopefully very vibrant and, and, and colorful and lit up and you know, exciting. So I'm going to put in here sunflower vase. All right, there we go. Moving on up, who is our next one? Doggy103101 is a message from the game. Take it here. We just got a swank, swank living room chair. Thank you so much. I actually think this is my last gift of the day. I do apologize to anyone who doesn't get a gift. If you send multiple, obviously you have a higher chance of getting one back. But at the same time, I don't know. Next one is from Neil Sun. It's the message from the game. Take it here. We just got the swank living room, or the swank ceiling light again so thank you so much we have a couple of those now and that is actually going to do it for um gifts today but we did get quite a few um points i'm gonna go ahead and just let jared um let's let him watch a little bit of cooking on tv because i feel like he could still use some cooking so we're going to actually let's serve up some dinner because there isn't really dinner in here so let's serve up something let's serve up some stew surprise all right She's on her way over here to um, the bar with with Thornton. She's not quite made it yet. Um, it looks like Harmony has, though. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over here. And it looks like Marty is here. And he's coming right on over to talk to us, which is really sweet of him. She is really freaking upset still about the Tory situation. She doesn't want to let Marty see her cry. So that's why she's hiding out behind the freaking tree. <laughs> she's trying to hide those emotions from him. But he got all freaking dolled up for us and... I can't imagine. Man, he is so smexy. Okay. He got a promotion to starter. Awesome. So he just got a promotion as well. So he is bringing in better dough than he was before. We are going to be romantic. We're going to do a rebound kiss because obviously, yeah, he is, he's kind of our rebound. No offense. Um, It could become more than just a rebound. But right now, he is just our rebound because let's be honest. You know, we just broke up with our girl, Tori, and, or she broke up with us, I guess I should say. And so, you know, that's the thing. Tori is just running on by. It's like she didn't even see us over here yet. She hasn't even freaking noticed that we're at the same bar. We haven't noticed Tori, who just ran by. It's about to go down, though. I feel like there might be a fight. And I feel like it might be Tori fighting Marty just because, you know, she'll now know who he is. Who it is that broke them up. Oh, oh, he's kind of not feeling it. Okay, all right. Well, that's about his funds. Um, we'll be friendly. Um, we'll cry on his shoulder. You know, tell him we had a bad day. We're not going to say exactly why we're crying on his shoulder, but we will go ahead and cry on his shoulder and just, you know, let him know that we're having a really bad freaking day. Oh, and I think he's leaving. He always does this to us. It's so weird. Um, can you not? Please don't leave. But see, this is one thing that I wish you could stop them from. She's literally hitting freaking bottom here, guys. She can't even get a freaking date to stick it ar stick around for with her. Like, honestly. So, Tori is over here. She is talking with him. And, and you know, she just wants to thank him for kind of, you know, um, for coming out with her tonight and, and trying to brighten the mood. And thank him for being so caring for her, you know. And uh, we'll 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 ask about his day and make sure he's having a good one and and, and just try to become more friends with him. Um, we'll give him a hug because obviously, um, obviously you know we can kind of see that that he's trying to be really friendly and be nice to us, even though it still hurts. And there she goes. She's seen she just seen Tori over here with a guy, and she's probably feeling like what the hell like she broke up with me she came over and literally ripped my throat out about it um but you're gonna go out on a date with somebody 
right after breaking up with me. So we're actually going to come over and argue with her and be like, listen, you know, you literally cut my throat out for pretty much being with somebody or going out with somebody just to see if there was a connection. But then you're going to literally the night we break up pretty much go out with somebody else. Are you freaking kidding me? So Harmony is pretty ticked. Like she feels pretty betrayed to the point that Tori is two-faced. She feels like she's very two-faced and she doesn't really know what to do about it. Um, she still really likes Tori and she kind of still has those feelings for her. At the same time, she's really mad that Tori would do what she said. You know, she's pretty much doing to she's pretty much doing what she said Harmony was doing. Is pretty much what she's doing is going out with a guy who she obviously Obvi obviously she doesn't realize that this is her boss and her boss is just trying to like make her feel better but at the same time she's still hurt she's still broken hearted and and really upset so she's actually just gonna take it out on Tori and 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 let her know how she feels and then probably just go home and be like screw you lady because like I freaking hate you so we're just gonna argue with her you know tell her pretty much how are you gonna do to me what what you said I was doing to you by going out with somebody else yeah. and not even like be, not even like giving it 24 hours before you freaking go out but whatever and then she's just gonna walk away and she's not even gonna let Tori explain she's literally not even gonna let her explain she doesn't even care anymore what she has to say we're gonna go ahead and order a group serving of some food we're gonna get some sushi 600 simoleons for sushi that is intense um, but we're gonna do it. We're just we're just gonna get some food for us and and for Thornton and hopefully you know move on past this. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it. That's gonna be the end of this LP. If you guys not the LP but this episode, um, but if you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Um, let me know in the comments below. Do you think Harmony and Tori are actually gonna be able to freaking make it living together, or is there gonna be issues continuously throughout this whole LP? Because, obviously, the stakes are high. Like, Harmony still has feelings of Tori. Tori still think has feelings of Harmony. But are they genuine, like, love feelings? Or are they just, like, to the point now where it's just, like, petty. Like, you broke up with me, but you're going to do that to me. And then, and then treat me like garbage kind of thing. I don't know. You guys let me know. Is it going to work out with Marty as well? Because he does seem to leave the, uh, the dates quite often. And now, you know, Harmony is feeling really upset about the fact that Tori is out with another guy while she's freaking home going to bed because Tori is being like a little two-faced little snatch. Anyways, guys, like I said, if you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. In the description below, there is a donation link if you'd like to donate to the channel along with all of my social media links. Don't forget to check out my streams. Um, I, like I said, I'll be doing an update video letting you guys know, but I do stream every day in the mornings. Uh, sometimes uh, it's like Eastern Standard Time, like right around 11 o'clock in the morning. So if you guys are interested in those, definitely check those out, and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Thanks very much for watching.